compliance is top of mind for financial advisors right now. So what kind of information do you need to stay ahead of the pack? I'm joined today by John Walsh. John, welcome. Thank you. So John, tell me, what's the toughest question you're hearing from advisors on compliance and regulatory issues right now? I would say probably the hardest of all is when a compliance professional throws their hands up and say, what do the regulators want? What's going to make them happy? And, and it's a hard question to answer. Uh, so much is in motion. So many new things are happening. Uh, new data usage, new rules, uh, DOL, fiduciary duty. I think people are really at sea as to exactly what it is the regulators are looking for and how to respond to them. And there's so many different questions that they're trying to solve for when it comes to compliance. They're trying to solve for, you know, how should I communicate with clients? How should I communicate to potential prospects? Social media. What do you do when they just come and they throw their hands up to you and say, and get, ask you that question, what do I do next? Well, and remember too that compliance professionals okay. have a very difficult mission. They need to take the regulations or the standards or whatever it might be and develop them into uh, policies and procedures, monitoring tools, they need to institutionalize whatever it is the regulators are doing. So they're looking at an environment going, we're not sure what they want, we're not sure what it is that they want us to do, but meanwhile we have to develop these institutional mechanisms for implementing this big question. That's a tough one. That's a very tough one. So when you look ahead to the landscape of the next even into the next year. Um, what are some of the landmines that advisors need to avoid on the regulation side? I'd say number one would be data usage. Okay. I think a lot of people are behind the curve in terms of data literacy. And this is an area the regulators have really developed big time. They have brought in highly specialized people who know data, who use it uh, analytically, uh, very effectively. And so when they go to an investment advisor, say, they're going to have ideas as to what that data should look like, what kind of data integrity it should have, what kind of controls and procedures people should be following. Um, and so their expectations are going to be pretty darn high. And if they walk in on an advisor that's way behind the curve, has no data literacy, doesn't know what's going on, that's a lot of risk there. Right. And now, and all that's about protecting your clients and protecting their data here. I mean, we hear a lot about cybersecurity and phishing scams, et cetera, but, but a lot of it comes down to, to, first, advisors protecting that data. It's not, and I agree with you. I totally yeah. agree with you. Protection, everybody has that issue. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's a little bit more than protection, though. Yeah. It's not just keeping it safe. It's figuring out what it means. Okay. And figuring out what signals it's sending you about the nature of your business or, or what signals it might send a regulator about the nature of your business. But absolutely, everybody has the problem now of, of data security and confidentiality. Now, a lot of advisors see compliance still as this roadblock, right? They're the, they're the wall between good ideas or that's execution. So that's so 1980s. I know, right? <laughs> so 1980s. I know. That's, I know. That's a thing of the past. Yes, but so how do you change that paradigm so advisors stop thinking that way? The, I would urge them to think about compliance like quality assurance. Okay. Uh, that if you're in a manufacturing business and you're turning out goods and services and you don't have any quality assurance over that, you're not going to be in business very long. And I think what compliance does is something very similar. It says it's not just the advice you give, it's not just the money you make, it's making sure that it has quality attached to it so nobody shows up later, either a regulator or an unhappy client, to take some of that money back. Excellent. So if you are a financial advisor, maybe you've just gone independent or, uh, and you haven't thought a lot about compliance before, where's a good place to get started here? Well, I, I think a lot of people hopefully have learned if they've been associated with a larger firm. Uh, there are some fine conferences like this one where people can go to learn about compliance. They have a whole compliance track here. Um, so I, they can actually, there are books to buy or websites to visit. There are a lot of consultants, I'm sure, who would be happy to help them. A simple uh, web search will reveal some of those names. A lot of resources out there. John. If they're not looking for them, yeah, they're, the, they're the loser. <laughs> they are. Because they, yep. they're out there to be found. You're absolutely right. John, thank you so much. Some great insights for financial advisors. Thank you. Happy nice. to help. For Investment News, I'm Matt Ackerman. <laughs>